Hi everyone, Jean Lurson here. Well, today is the last day of 2022 and I am going to actually post a video showing you how I created my Christmas greeting for this year. I didn't want to do something as traditional as a tree or some ornaments or something like that. I wanted to do something different and I thought I would paint a landscape using colors that represent the season. So I'm sharing this video with you to show you how I did this. I just want to wish you all a very happy and creative 2023. Just starting by spraying my paper, uh, which is 10 by 10 inch hot press paper, and I'm using my spatula to put down some cascade green and um, also adding um, some orange, I think this was burnt orange, but um, I ended up actually fixing that later but this, with this darker red, which is perylene maroon. And uh, the, the orange just stuck out too much, so I had to tamp it down. So uh, you can see how I fix errors um, as I'm painting. And I wanted to have quite a few lines in this uh, painting. I just wanted to be semi-abstract. And I'm um, using the same green for a little bit of the sky area and spritzing it over so the colors run and create um, different patterns on the paper and we get some light and dark colors. Now I'm using a ruling pen. You can really use anything to make lines. You can use sticks, you can use um, nib pen, you can use um, I think I've, I've done a series on um, how to create textures in your watercolors, but you can see I'm using a ruling pen because you can adjust the uh, thickness of the lines. It wasn't working too well um, for, for me this time, uh, so I used a couple of different ways to create lines. Now I'm using a very fine number one um, liner or script brush to create some lines. Uh, and I mixed the uh, red and the green to create a dark for those lines. I didn't use a different color. I wanted to keep it within the reds and greens for the um, festive occasion. And I'm just spritzing, the, the paint's dry quite quickly, so I'm spritzing it to create more lines by scratching out with a knife. And um, I can scratch back to the paper to get some white lines. It didn't work too well with this red um, which sort of saturated the paper. Now I'm using De La Rowney sepia ink with a pipette uh, to, to create some lines. Uh, and I wanted to create my dark. So you, you, you remember your painting must have uh, a different ratio of light, medium and dark values. It's always very important for a good composition. So I'm um, doing my darks with the sepia ink and I love sepia ink because it creates nice texture too. And this orange was bothering me throughout the painting and later on Unfortunately, I didn't um, film that part, but all I did was put some of the maroon paint over the orange and tamped it down. You can see it's already tamped down here. And I also added some white lines using a white pencil. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the new year.